Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great and in this video I will be making the engine nacelles for the A380 I will also make thrust tubes uh, It's the first time that I will be making thrust tubes for an airliner So I'm excited for that And I will also make the mounts for the EDFs and install them And hopefully fit everything together at the end of this video And uh, see how it goes So, let's get to work so this is the engine nacelle and I made the molds for it on Fusion 360 and it contains a thrust tube and the inlet itself and there is this small piece on the front this is to align the inlet with the nacelle itself and also the ADF mounts these pieces are going to be cut from wood plus these two small locks that will be like a channel for the nacelle to slide into the pylon and of course I will make molds for the pylon cover at the back. Alright, here is the first engine nacelle and it looks amazing, super light of course and it's complete with the inlet and this is the st uh, thrust tube and there's a small lip in there or step for the ADF also and of course I broke one part of the mold, it's a bit tricky to take it out of the mold especially because of this here, anyways one survived I will print another one and I still have to make three more. 
All right, this is the engine cell and it turned out so nice. Uh, it's 110 grams exactly and that is super light, just one layer of carbon fiber. And of course the inlet is inside in here. And uh, you guys saw me uh, 100 times casting and so I thought I'll just skip ahead and I have four of them done now, plus four thrust tubes are ready. And so now it's time to bring out the EDFs, uh, show them to you guys and try to fit them inside the nacelles. All right. So these are the EDFs that I will be using. Uh, these are from Hacker Motor 120 millimeters. Uh, the EDF unit itself is from EJETS and the motor is of course from Hacker Motor. This is the 600 kV. Of course I will be running these on 12S and I will get 7.2 kilogram thrust on each EDF. This means I will have plenty of thrust for the A380. Of course I will connect uh, each two motors to one battery and each motor pulls around 95 amps so hopefully we will have no issues uh, with that and so now I will try to fit the ADFs inside the nacelles and of course hope they will fit and then after that I will uh, connect the wires and hopefully install them on the wings and uh, see how it goes. All right. This video is sponsored by you guys over on Bershion and channel members but mostly Bershion uh, I spent so much on my projects and uh, on this workshop and that's why I have a Bertrion page where you can support me directly. Uh, you can pledge in there and starting from $4 per month. And uh, of course you get behind the scenes stuff, pictures and updates, things that you don't see on YouTube. Of course everything I get from Bertrion uh, goes on my projects and in my workshop. And I have Bertrions who've been supporting uh, my work for over three years and i cannot thank you enough guys anyways i will leave a link in the video description if you want to support me directly thank you so much and let's get back to work
right look at this guys this thing looks so good I mean the wing shape with the engines mounted looks super cool just like the A380 I think I nailed the wings and the engine nacelles look so good with a thrust tube this is the first time I install a thrust tube on an airliner and it looks so good and this is here for the byron cover this is just one layer of fiberglass just reinforced with some carbon here on the corners this is just the cover and the cables will be heading inside that and the ADFs inside look really good with this spinner and everything is carbon of course I have to sand all that later primer because this is going to be white I wish I could keep everything carbon but I have to add delivery on that and of course need some sanding and stuff like that uh, the wings are already uh, sprayed with primer and I just need to send them do some final touches here of course I still have to add uh, two screws in here that go all the way to the other side and secure the nacelles and uh, I need to do some more adjustments on the thrust tube they are not all the way in they have to be a bit higher so they will be in the center just some, some small adjustments in there but uh, honestly I am super happy with that this is the wing tip I still need to install that but I will do that at the end but this will look super nice so next I will sand these and finish them and then I will connect the ADFs and of course the right wing is also done I connect four ADFs and hopefully in the next video I will assemble the whole plane outside and uh, turn the motors on for the first time and see the whole plane fully assembled uh, for the first time I am expecting some uh, crazy thrust coming out of these ADFs and here are the flaps are done and they look really good I just need to send them and install them this one uh, is going to be cut in half so I'll have three flaps in here but this is going to look so cool unfortunately I did not add uh, spoilers or speed brakes on the A380 because they will add extra weight the plane is going to be heavy and I'm, I wanna keep it under the 25 kilos and I don't need the speed brakes because I will have brakes from Electron Retract they are the best and so I won't be needing any speed brakes on the wings all right uh, enough for this video and uh, the next one I will be making the main landing gear and I got all the retracts and bars and wheels uh, from Electron Retracts and I'm so excited to start doing that this means the airplane will be almost complete so I can fully assemble it outside, drag it and maybe turn the EDFs on because I still have to install all the electronics and stuff inside the fuselage. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you're not and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.